Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video showing you tech tips from Fresh BCSE Tech, I'm going to be showing you a new feature that's been incorporated on its learning in October 2020. These updates should be available to everyone on our its learning site by the end of the week, which is October 16th, but a lot of you probably got those updates on Wednesday or Thursday of this week. So, this new feature I'm going to show you is that Jamboard now integrates on its learning. Before it didn't integrate all of the way, you couldn't put it on its learning assignments and make a copy of it so each student has their own to work with and edit, but now you can. So Jamboard, if you aren't familiar with it, is a digital whiteboarding tool. I have an example pulled up here. This is from a math class. This is from a high school math class, but there are tons of examples out there, really for any subject area. And if you want to check out some of those examples, I have linked some Jamboard resources on my slide deck that goes along with this video, but there are lots out there for calculus, um, elementary math, primary math, history, health, you name the subject area and there's something out there. And what Jamboard allows you to do is to um, add different features and collaborate on the same space and use it in different ways. But now on its learning, instead of you having to click the sharing button here and go through this whole process to give students a version of this link. Instead, what you can do is students can have their own version of this sent to them through the It's Learning assignment tool. On It's Learning, you have a couple of ways that you can use this new Jamboard integration feature. The simple way is you can just give students access to a Jamboard really quickly. You can now add Jamboards from your Google Drive using the Add button here. So if I click Add and go to go and I go to Google Drive, if it's one of my most recent files, it might be here. Otherwise, I can search in my Google Drive, and now I can quickly add a Jamboard to my It's Learning course. And when I go through this process, it always adds it to the very bottom of my resources tree on It's Learning, and just take it a second to process there. But once it does, I see a confirmation message. I can scroll down to the bottom, and there's my Jamboard. Now it's a little different with adding a Jamboard here. It doesn't give you a preview like some of the other document types do on It's Learning. It just allows you to open it in a new tab which we can see right here. So if I have this document set up to where it's only my students can view it, they don't have editing access, then they're not gonna be able to do anything here, but maybe I put that there so that they have access to it. If I'm explaining it to them, or doing a virtual lesson, I have some students in class, some online, I want them to all have access to the same screen. The other thing that you can do here is if you want to give your students their own copy of this so they can add their work, add their notes, then you can use the assignment tool in its learning to send students their own copy of it. So what I'm going to do is build an assignment. So I'll click add and assignment. And this is really helpful if you want to give students their own space to take notes, or maybe you have a template you want to share with them. So I'll go through the normal process here, add assignment, give it a title. I could type out instructions here. And then if I scroll further down the page, this is where the magic happens. So I'm going to click add files in Google Drive. And if you've not used this Google integration feature on the assignment tool before, you will have to pair your Google Drive with its learning. So I have to give it permission. I've already done that. So it's not gonna ask me to go through those settings. You only have to do it one time. And once I do, I can pull up all of my Google Drive files. So I'll find that Jamboard. By default here, it has a little drop down menu and it always puts it so that students can view this Jamboard. But instead, I want them to be able to have their own copy. And if I click make a copy for each student, it gives them editing access to it. So it's their own and it names this Jamboard after the student. So whenever they go to turn their work into me, I don't get a bunch of no names. It's named after the student. It just helps me organize. So I'll finish making my assignment. I'll click create assignment and it does take it a second. I will warn whenever you add a Google resource there and have it to where it makes a copy for each student. It does take a second for it to process. Still loading, there we go. So it's there and I can see the file I attached. Now I'm gonna go over into a view where I'm signed in as a student. So you can see what this looks like on the student side of things. All right, so I'm gonna go to this course and here's the assignment that my teacher just made for me. So what the student sees is the file attached and they click answer assignment. And in a new window, it starts to make a copy of that Jamboard for them. So if you've used Google integrated assignments on its learning before, this is the same thing that happens if you add a Google Doc 
a slideshow, a Google drawing, a Google Sheets, anything along those lines. But now is the student, I can move things around, make some edits if I need to. And whenever I'm finished, as you see, it's named it after the student. Whenever I'm finished on this and I can turn it back into my teacher, I don't have to dig through my Google Drive to find it. It's already there. I can open it from here at any point in time and I just click submit. So I've gotten questions before. Some teachers have said, I want to share Google resources to my students really quickly instead of having them make their own copy. You can use the assignment tool to do that. Just don't call it an assignment. Just use that as a mechanism to get students their own copy and don't put a deadline on it, kind of like what I did right here. If you're the teacher and you want to be able to get to your students' Jamboards really quickly to monitor their progress while they're working in class, you could go through and see what they've done so far by just clicking through each individual student, and it tells you that they haven't finished it, they haven't submitted it, but you can access their work from here. My shortcut that I think is a little bit more efficient is technically, if you go to your Google Drive, It's Learning makes a folder named after the It's Learning assignment and shares it with you. So It's Learning is technically the owner of those files because they made the copy for the student. And that's how they also can turn off access if you put a deadline on it so the student can continue to edit it. But if I wanted to get to my student's work really quickly, I would go to my Google Drive. I'll click over here where it says shared with me. And then I'll have a folder here that it's learning has shared with me and it's named after that it's learning assignment, which we can see is right here. Jamboard algebra. And I have two folders. I have my original template here, but I also have my students' work. So if I had lots of students in my class, it would show all of them right here, and it will only show the students who have opened the assignment. So that gives you an idea on who has navigated to it correctly and who has started work on this and maybe who needs a little bit of extra help. So that is a helpful feature on its learning and one that is pretty exciting for some of you who are really into using Jamboard.